everyone today's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this nice little cowl and it works up super fast and easy has a nice little um, edge trim here on the uh, top and the bottom and it'll go um, really fast because I am using this Bernat and it's a chunky yarn it's the Bernat roving so it feels really comfortable up against your skin it's super soft so I hope you enjoy today's video tutorial Okay, for today's video, then I'm going to be using um, this chunky yarn. It's called it from Bernat. It's called Roving, and it's super, super soft. I really like that. And it is a weight. Let me see if I can find it here. A size five bulky, um, and it's eighty percent acrylic and twenty percent wool, so it gives you a little bit of warmth, but it's not overwhelming. I'm going to be using these two colors. You, they have quite a few colors to choose from. So this color that I'm using is called Plum, and then the pink color is called Quartz Pink. So these are the two colors we're going to be using, and um, here I'm also going to be using a size K hook, which is 6.5 millimeters. You're going to need a yarn needle, and then um, some thin scissors to cut your yarn with. Um, also, if uh, you want, you could also... Um, use uh, three colors. I'm only going to be two, doing two colors, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So here I'm going to begin with the plum color, and I'm going to be, I'm going to start by doing um, loosely, don't do it too tight, make my little slip loop, leave a little tail so that you could um, uh, sew that in, weave it in later. And here I'm going to begin by doing 68 chains, and the chain, just your basic chain, don't do it too tight because then it'll, um, kind of be lopsided so here I'm just going to go ahead to do the chain you just wrap the hook around the uh, the yarn around the hook and I'm going to go ahead and do my 68 chains and then we'll come back when I have done those chains okay so here I've done all my 68 chains and I'm going to join this um, to the first uh, chain and do a slip stitch in order to make sure that it doesn't twist I like to grab the chain, the my um, strand here of yarn, and you could see where the chains are up here. You, it makes like kind of a little V, um, and so here I just grab that part there and just pull it through my yarn, my my index finger and my thumb, and then see here here it's twisted. When I do that, it'll start untwisting, and then I want to make sure. That is not twisted. If it starts twisting, you can just go ahead and start again. Here, see how I held this side here? Kept going to the end. And then here now, I can go ahead and slip stitch in there. And then make sure that my piece here is not twisted in any way. Okay, here, once I do my slip stitch, this tail, I'm just going to end up uh, weaving it in. To go up here, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. The first two are going to count as my first half double crochet, and the third one counts as my separating stitch. So here I'm going to skip this stitch and go into my next stitch. I'm going to yarn over and go into that next stitch. Oops, here. One, two. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet. So here I'll have three loops of yarn on my hook. I'm going to pull through all three. And now here I'm going to do chain one, and this is what I want to repeat all the way around my row. I'm going to skip the next chain and then do a half double crochet in the next chain. So I yarn over and all my stitches and all my little loops on my hook get pulled up at the same time. Let me see if I could get a little bit closer. I know it's a little dark, this yarn, but um, once you see the contrast, it's going to be really nice. So then here, once again, I'm going to go ahead and chain one, skip the next chain, and the chain after that, I do a half double crochet. I'm going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, so here I'm coming to the end. So then I'm just going to do my chain one, and then here I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that uh, second chain, one, two. But before I pull out, I'm going to grab my new yarn. I'm not going to cut this one. I'm just going to be traveling it up along the back. If you want to cut it, you can, but then that just means that you're going to have more um, tails to sew in. So here now I'm going to get my contrasting yarn. And this was the uh, 
quartz pink and of course there's other uh, colors you can get so this is the same kind of yarn the roving yarn so here let me just grab it and then I'm going to go ahead leaving a tail so that I could weave this in later and when I weave them in I weave in the pink into the pink and then I'm going to do the plum into the plum so that they get hidden in there and you don't see that little color coming up so once I have that I put in my hook into that second chain I'm going to grab the new color and then now I'm going to start working with this one and you could just kind of tug on that a little bit if you want and then here now I'm going to go ahead and chain two one two and then my third chain for the separation but now here I'm going to go into excuse me, I'm going to go into sorry it's kind of twisting on me here so I'm going to get that chain and then I'm going to go into that space between where I just went in and I'm going to do my half double crochet just like I did before just like this and I'm going to chain one go into my next space because now we're skipping the space with the half double crochet and then in the space between them is where you're going to be doing your stitches like this so now that chain one space is where you're going to be working your half double crochets for all your rows uh, that continue here and I really like these two colors I think these two colors make a really good combination um, and you could make them in the same like color family or like me here where I'm contrasting this so I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around and I'm going to add at least I, I like to do at least 10 rows but the thing is that I want to end my last row I want it to be the same color as your beginning row so here when I end I'm going to do 10 rows and um, my last row I need to do in the plum color so do at least 10 rows, 8 to 10 rows works good, but if you need to do 9 rows, it's really going to be your preference of how wide you want this to be around your neck or how high you want it to be. Um, and But make sure that when we end, we want to end with the same color as the beginning row, so it kind of gives us these contrasting colors will be in sandwiched in between. Okay, here I'm coming to the end of that second round. I'm going to do my chain one. And now here into that second chain, one, two. That one's kind of getting kind of loose. So I'm going to tug on that tail. Now I'm going to drop the pink, the quartz pink. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up my plum again. Make sure you're not picking up the tail, okay? So then I'm going to pull that through. And then I'm going to repeat what I did in my second round with all my following rows so here are my following rounds so here I just would go ahead and go one two from my half double crochet and then three from my separation then go into my next space just like I've done previously yarn over go in there and do my half double crochet so you're going to continue that until you have at least um, eight eight rounds um, eight to ten rounds um, and it's going to depend on how um, why do you want that on your on your uh, body but I'm going to make I'm going to end with the same my last round I wanted to be the same color that I started with the plum and that's up to you you could do them um, alternated you could do it all one select color or you could even change colors on um, every round it's totally up to you okay so here now I'm coming to the end of my work and as you can see here, I ended up doing 11 rows so that I could end with the same color that I began here with the plum in the Bernat Roving yarn here. And so now here I have the pink. I've just been um, pulling my work up, just traveling the work up from behind. And so now here is going to be my last uh, row here of the um, uh, plum. So now I'm going to go here once again, one, two, the second chain, and now I'm going to drop that purple and I'm going to bring up the pink color, okay? So now here, this color I'm done with, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. I'm going to make it kind of a little bit longer, and this tail I will then sew into my other work. So here now, I'm going to move my plum because I don't want it to get tangled up with the uh, quartz pink. 
Okay, so then I just slip stitch into that second chain and I picked up my pink color. This uh, tail I'm going to go ahead and sew it in at the end. I'm going to just stick it in the middle so it doesn't get inside and uh, doesn't get in my way and make a mess. So here I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and this is going to be our border. We're going to then afterwards turn around and attach our yarn in the other end and we'll do the same thing here. So here I have three chains and I'm going to do a pico stitch. I'm going to go into, put my hook into the first chain. I'm going to grab my yarn and just slip stitch, pull it out, and it's going to create this little loop. And now here in my next chain, remember we have a chain separating our half double crochets in this chain. I'm going to go in there and then I'm going to pull out my yarn and I'm going to do a single crochet. Okay, so that is going to be the pattern. So now here in my next, on top of my half double crochet, I only slip stitch here. Grab that slip stitch. And now you're going to do your three chains. One, two, three. Go back into the first chain, slip stitch, pull that out. And there's your next little peak on the next stitch, which is a chain. I'm going to do a single crochet. This is what I'm going to repeat all the way around. Let me take off my hook here so you could see what this looks like. So then my little edge is going to look like this. The little um, little peaks and it's going to give us a little design here. So then I'm just going to repeat here. Slip stitch in the next half double crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. Go back into the first chain. Slip stitch and then I've created my little pico stitch or peacock stitch. Then the next stitch, my chain, I'm gonna go in there. Oops, I just lost that there. I'm gonna do my single crochet. So I'm gonna repeat that, but this is kind of curving around there. I'm gonna repeat that all the way around and it's gonna give me this nice little edge. Then we're gonna come back and then I'll show you how you attach your yarn. You're just going to attach somewhere here on the lower edge and you're going to repeat the same thing here so that, that both edges look the same like this. Okay, I'm coming to the end here, so I'm just going to do my last, um, it's just, I'm just where that little, um, where I joined here, I'm going to do my single crochet and then I'm going to slip stitch here into that joining chain. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut my pink yarn, but I want to leave a long tail so it's easier to, to um, weave in. So then here now will be the finished edge. Let me show you what that looks like right there. And so now we want to repeat the same thing on the bottom edge. And here are our tails that we'll be sewing in. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to flip my work over. So now... This is the finish I just finished and here's the, where we started. Here's the tails where I began. So anywhere around here would be fine. I'm going to start over one of the half double crochet stitches. Let me get a little bit closer so you could see that. So here I'm just going to attach my yarn there because that's where I have my, um, uh, my Pico stitch. So I'm going to get my yarn. And remember I'm going to be sewing in my tails here in a moment. So I'm going to get that yarn right there and I'm going to start the same thing I did here at three chains. One, two, three. Then you're going to go back to the first one, pull out your stitch there. And then in my next chain where I have a chain one space, I'm going to go in there, do my single crochet. And then I'm going to repeat the very same thing I did on this side so that the both sides can look the same here on top of my half double crochet. I'm just going to do my slip stitch, chain three, one, two, three, and then do the next pico stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around in my chain one stitch. Then um, my next stitch, I'm going to do my single crochet. So I'm going to have the same edge finished here as I have on the other side. So then both sides will be the same. So here. I have one finished edge and here I'm going to begin this other one. I'm going to finish that and then we're going to sew in the tails together. I have a pretty big eye needle because 
um, here I'm going to just show you how I sew the edge here I'm going to get my needle and it's easier if you do this and kind of fold it get all your yarn in there it's pretty bulky so what I want you to do then here is the plum and here's the pink now I'm going to come and bring my yarn to the back and I want to weave my pink color it's pretty thick so it's a uh, chunky yarn so here I'm just going to be doing my weaving into the pink I don't want it to go um, I don't really want it to show in the purple and you're just going to go maybe a couple steps across stitches across and then when I get there I'm going to go ahead and come back just weaving it, catching it in my pink. And I'm going to weave the pink into the pink and the plum into the plum. And you're just going to do it a few stitches. See right there? I'm doing it on the back side. I don't want my stitches to show on the front. And then I'm just going to go ahead and work it a few more times. And that's why I like to have it longer so that it's easier to work with. And you just want to do it a few times so it's not going to um, unravel like here that would probably be enough I'm just going to do it one more time and then I'm just going to cut this off okay so then I cut this my tail there and then just kind of pull it so then the tail is going to hide in there now my um, plum color going to be the same thing this is already in the back so I'm just going to go ahead and get my needle kind of fold it there then I could get my yarn in there. And now I'm going to do the same thing, but now I, I that's where I started right there. So I want to make sure I'm grabbing the plum color. I'm going to work it a few stitches, go into the yarn, and repeat what I just did with the pink. See, it's not showing on the front. I'm just doing it all through the back. And then I'm going to weave in all my uh, tails so here I'm going to have these tails here on the bottom I'm going to have these two tails plus the new tail here so I have three here and here I'm just going to weave it into the pink the pinks into the pinks and the plums into the plums so I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then that's all you will do if you want to go into here in your plum you can I'm just going to be going into the same um, colors I don't want the show that to show now I'm going to work my way back a couple of times back and forth and then just cut that off and then you won't even be able to see it see that's there I'm going to go back again and this is probably going to be the last time I go back I like to cut this close to the yarn but you don't want to cut your piece and then now those stitches those tails have been sewn in there and you can't even see them it's all into the purple so I'm going to finish my lower edge sew in my tails and then we'll be done and I'll come and show you your what it looks like here so it's all done and it was super fast and easy to make I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so if you like the video tutorial make sure you hit that like button have a great day and remember always that god loves you